Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here. You know the deal, John 8, 12. Uh, listen, I was thinking, you know, these uh, the thing going on in Canada, I don't even want to mention, but if you're watching the news, there are some things going on in Canada. Of course, same things going on in a lot of other nations. Uh, Australia was in the news. France, Italy, Germany, you know. It's just Canada is the more recent thing in the news. Now, what I suggest is uh, put some things away for a, a rainy day, just in case the stores close, run out of items to purchase. Uh, I forget who said it, but somebody said, never let a good crisis go to waste. So, very possible that the, uh, you know who's, the children of the evil ones, will use the thing that the truckers are doing to turn the public against them. I mean, after all, if there's empty shelves and your kids are hungry, it's the trucker's fault. Yeah, those are evil people. Uh, you know, uh, can you think of any names that, uh, you know, truck drivers, for the most part, at least when I was driving a truck cross country uh, in the late 90s, was mostly... Uh, the same type of people that founded the United States in 1776. Um, I'm being very cautious with words because uh, Tube uh, loves certain keywords and then they listen and then they give you a strike and want to delete your channel and blah, 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 you know. I prefer to use blah, blah, blah over yada, yada, yada because uh, that's a... Uh, it starts with um, a Y and then rhymes with dish. Um, and it means sex. So when you watch a popular TV show that ran for a long time with, uh, I forget, Elaine and I forget the other actors. Uh, yeah. And, oh, yeah, Jerry and Elaine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you get the idea. So put some things away just in case there is no food. You know, not a bad idea. But uh, you should have done that a long time ago. Boy, I'll tell you what, I've been noticing prices. Woo, doggy. And of course, they're going to blame it on our current person in the house in Washington. You know, but uh, it started before he was in, put in office. Yeah, our uh, our buddy, the Don, uh, he start he was also printing lots of uh, pieces of paper that are green in color. Yeah, with pictures of famous people on them. Yeah. So generally. Yeah, from what I understand, and I took economics in college, business college. Actually, I took two semesters of it. It makes sense to me. But generally, from what I understand, it takes about six months from the time they print a bunch of worthless whatever till the value of the stuff drops. I mean, when I was in high school, you could have bought an ounce of gold for $35. Seriously. And, um, you know, what is it now? Like $1,500, $1,800? Everybody's like, oh, the prices are going up. No, the value is going down. It's being diluted. You know, it's just, it's simple economics, really. Um but, and this is how the you-know-who's got so powerful when they took control of the supply of our coins, coinage, 
Do you know that in the 1920s, we actually had gold, $20 gold coins? Yeah, it was almost an ounce, an ounce of gold almost. Yeah. And we had silver coins too. Yeah, I remember that. I know I've been harping on it for a while, but I remember grandmother giving me a paper dollar bill and I went to Burger King. Now, I was living in Miami then. Uh, Burger King actually was a corporation headquartered in Miami. I went to one of the first Burger Kings. And um, I remember this. Ordering a Whopper, a shake, and a fry. Gave him the dollar and got back a quarter and a dime. I remember that. And I think they were silver, too. Back when I could go to 7-Eleven and buy five candy bars for that uh, quarter. And I remember that stuff because we used to go to the uh, afternoon matinee uh, during the week, during the summer, at the movie theater to watch garbage. Um, and we'd hit 7-Eleven and buy all the candy before we went to the theater because the theater was, you know, Instead of a nickel, it was a dime. And, uh, yeah. So, and then I could pick up uh, bottles on the side of the road. People would throw out their Coke and Pepsi bottles, and I could get two pennies for, you know. So, if you collected five bottles, hey, that's two candy bars for me and my buddy, you know. But uh, those days are long gone. And, uh Things are going to crash, you know. And uh, when they do, we're going to have 666. You know, everybody's like, oh, cryptocurrency. Well, who do you think invented, who, who's behind cryptocurrency? I, I'm going to give you a guess. It's the same people. You know, if, if, it, was, if it was really a threat to their power, it would be illegal already. Do you know in 19, I think it was 1934, President Rosenfeld, uh, FDR, passed an executive order banning private ownership of gold. All the people had to turn in their gold coins. Yeah, you could wear a necklace, you know, but uh, if it was bullion or coins you had to turn it in and you could get a ten thousand dollar fine you could have bought a house for ten thousand dollars back then you could buy a brand new model t ford for 500 bucks ten thousand dollar fine five years in federal prison uh people turned it in matter of fact they stationed uh fbi agents in the uh, safe deposit vault room of all the banks to make sure people were not hiding gold coins. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> guess who got the gold coins? Not you, not me. Uh, the people that run the banks. So, yeah. Yeah, the blood banks, right? Because they're squeezing the blood out of, yeah, you get the idea. So, uh, if um, don't be surprised if they use this trucker thing as an excuse to uh, run out of food. Don't, don't, don't be surprised. And then blame the truckers. After all, it's their fault, right? So, yeah. Really sad. But... Uh, when you read the book of Judges, which I'm thinking about doing a thing on the book of Judges, um, somebody said that um, a nation gets the government that it deserves. And we're getting the government that we deserve. Absolutely. So, all righty, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 666 is coming, people. Are you prepared?